So we're gonna take the Cherokee on some mild trails just to get a feel for how it's gonna do and what it's gonna do and see what needs to be corrected. Um, I do have the recovery vehicle behind me just in case I get stuck, the old Wrangler. I haven't got a winch on this thing yet, but you never go wheeling alone. So that's a good thing to keep in mind, but we're gonna go hit some mild trails. They're not horrible. Um, some rocky places, some hills. But we're gonna hit them up, see how it feels. Uh, I've never really wheeled with anything this tall before um, in West Virginia. So I'm kind of interested in how it's gonna feel, how wobbly it's gonna be and how tippy it's gonna feel.
so uh, we didn't get to go everywhere we wanted to go today. Um, I forgot my tools at the house. I have a brand new brake line laying on the floor and I have the fitting in here to fix it, but I don't have any tools to break anything loose. Uh, I could have had it fixed out here on the trail. So what we're gonna do is limp it back to the house. We didn't hit half the trails I wanted to show you guys today. Um, they got a little bit worse, but you know, this is what happens. You know, this is why I came out and did mild trails because of this issue right here to see what's going to need done before I go on a big trip for, you know, all day wheeling trips. All the aftermarket parts held up, just the stock components, the brake line on the passenger side did not hold up. So yeah, got a long ride home. Well, been about half hour later, still on the road, doing this as safe as possible. So what I'm doing is, what I'm doing is, I am, uh, I got it in four low, and I'm not even hitting 20 mile an hour, I'm going about 15, I got it in third, and it holds me back good enough to where I can stop and use my brakes as less as I can. Um, I crimp the line off, and it stops good, but I just want to be sure, so I'd rather take my time, get to the house, and park it there and uh, make it there safely instead of just, you know, gunning and going. Because I know I can stop. It stops just fine. But when you do stuff like this, you got to be cautious and you got to be safe. And you got to use your brain and you got to have a little patience. That's all you got to do. bracket back up down here um just run it right through there for now now we're just uh waiting on the wheel bearing we gotta fix that and then we'll be ready to roll again i think she'll be pretty reliable after that i mean nothing else really happened like i said these trails are the first part of the all the stuff you see in the video is super easy trails you know that was just to get me warmed up uh, we was going to go up a place that I know that has a bunch of rocks and you can flex out and climb the rocks and go up the other side. And then we was going to go end up in five points and have some fun over there. But we never made it that far. We had some fun though. I, I always, I call that place my playground. We've been playing there since I was young. Ever since we got trucks and Jeeps and stuff. And it's just a fun little place to play around and to warm up and uh, to see if stuff like this, you know, would happen. Because if I would have went... Uh, to, to the rock crawling place that I know or over to five points and this brake line would have blowed or the wheel bearing would have came off or anything I'd be a lot farther away and a uh, you know a lot farther away from people's houses that I know and I'd have been in a pickle so that's why I always go over there and warm up and see you know is anything going to happen or how's it going to do and uh as you can see I blow the brake line and I uh the wheel bearing was going bad so We'll have to continue this video another time because, like I said, I had a whole day of trail riding planned out. The farther, my plan was the farther that we got into trail riding, the kind of worse the trails got. They were still mild. Some of the trails that we was going to hit, you would have to have at least 33s and a lift, but we never made it that far. Um, and so we had to limp the Cherokee home and uh, call it quits for the day. With the lockers and stuff, this jeep just crawls around even in mud holes and stuff um some of the hill climbs are they're not bad anybody can climb them but the the videos just don't do it justice um but uh like i said it got cut short and we didn't get hit to hit half the trails that i wanted to i'm kind of disappointed in that but it is what it is this is what happens when you build stuff i'll have to make another video another day and actually do all the trails i'll go ahead and skip that trail and uh just go ahead and hit the other ones but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video of what i at least got just me playing around in the cherokee just to show you show you guys you can build this and as you've seen i drove it on the road to the trails had a little fun with it and then you can drive it back home i mean this could be a weekend thing or it could be a daily driver and a weekend thing 
just depends. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.